when we're going through the process of personal transformation, we'll encounter certain things that um, can be scary or can seem like risks we'll need to take. Now, like any kind of journey, there are definitely you know dangers along the way, and there are very real dangers in this process. So it's very important to be aware of how you go about it. I talked before about our perceptions of reality and the things that we consider survival dependent and the things that we perceive as threats. Now, if we have placed an enormous amount of weight on a particular uh, unit of understanding, a particular idea, that means that in our personal identity network, this is a very important hub. A lot of connections come to it and a lot of things have paths through it. So essentially, this this seed is very well enmeshed in the in the uh, or this node is very well enmeshed in the roots of your tree. So something that compromises or threatens this in terms of you know is this real? Is this right? If you're threatening to take out a piece that's going to rip out a hundred other connections. There's a higher cost than just leaving it for right now. Because right now, you've adapted, so that, that works with your net, network. Maybe long term, it's not beneficial, but immediate uh, time scale, it's safer than uh, attacking that node. So being like, this isn't how reality is, something else. We'll take that out. You can't just pluck pieces of your brain now, because that's really what you're doing. Um, these connections that they hold are the things that support the rest of our world. So when we reevaluate the perceptions that we have based our reality on, you need to be gentle with them and you need to not be judging. You need to say, hey, this is my understanding of reality. Hmm, I can see where that manifests. I can see how I, I understand things like that. I can see how I communicate that. I can see how I act on it. Okay, cool. It's that, that little node connects in all these different areas. So observe yourself. Observe yourself when this node gets activated, all the other things it activates, or all the other things that can activate it. And just be a little bit of a scientist, don't judge. Like, scientist is studying plants, he doesn't say, you know, poor performer, only two inches. You know, he writes down two inches, beanstalk number three. You know, writing down data here. So see where these ideas connect to. And then, here's the key part. consider that there could be another reality. This is what's here. This is all the, you know, the whole picture that it paints. And maybe that is it. And maybe it's something a little bit different. Probably not that much different than how I, it is, but there's some key little part. Probably has to do with the logic statement that you formed as a child and weren't able to rectify with uh, the other side of logic. So you had uh, uh, inductive logic assumption and it couldn't get balanced or checked with the deductive. So as an adult, you reevaluate these things, you use deductive logic. That's how, that's how you're able to see you know, how appropriate it is. And you consider the idea of, okay, this is what I've been doing, this is what I believe, and maybe there's another possibility. What you're doing there essentially is creating space for something else to come in or for it to change shape. And the more that you look at your behavior and your thoughts as what they are right now and validate the reasons they got to be that way and then acknowledge the possibility of it being different than what you think, you essentially are creating new little paths of possibility. It's like you're clearing the forest for a road you put down. Right now it's, it's, it's just these particular routes and dense woods. So. The risks that you see here may not really be risks, or may not really be the threats you think they are. But the way you approach them is very key. Be open to possibility of it being something else. And then, when you know all the things are connected to it, you know the value that you're putting on these things, you're making a calculated risk to alter a path or to insert uh, a new idea, new, you know, new data into the bank about, you know, what it could possibly be. We're making a calculated risk. You know, 
know how they say that it's all fun and games till someone's eyes get poked out? Well, no one bet on someone's eyes getting poked out as a possible risk of the game, or a possible cost of the game. And so it was an unforeseen cost. If you know the things that you might be activating, or the things that you might feel threatened by, they're not an unforeseen cost. You know what the costs are, you know what the risks are, and then you can make a calculated decision. Once, we, once you're able to make a calculated decision, that's when you can go back to having fun. Okay, we can poke each other's eyes out. Let's wear goggles. As simple as that. And now it's not a scary game to play. But it can be exciting because you can essentially form a new reality, new reality in your brain likes finding patterns. Make it a fun game. You know, what do other people think about this? What are other people this age think about this? What do people that age think about this? What do people in other countries think about this? You know, make it an adventure to find a new reality and new meaning in life and new experiences that maybe other people experience but you haven't experienced yet. So that's where we have to approach this process kind of with the sense of uh, adventure and to be brave because sometimes we're gonna have to look at things you know, in our past that caused us pain and that we covered up because you know, it wasn't comfortable to be thinking about that all the time. You know, but remember what your current reality is right now. So that's a section about taking risks.